have you ever wondered how a camera works? We'll be showing you how to make this pinhole camera. So my name's Sandy. I am in my final year of a Bachelor of Advanced Computing and Bachelor of Arts double degree. And today we'll be making a camera obscura. The camera obscura is the physical property that was first observed by Aristotle over 2000 years ago. And in the late 19th century, chemists used that property to develop the camera as we know it today. The camera obscura relies on really three physical properties. You have the viewfinder for the person to look at the light that's being reflected. We've got a pin prick that's letting the light actually enter the camera obscura. And then we need a surface for the light to reflect off of. So we've got the box that we've sent you the stem box with and we've got some pieces of paper. We'll also need tape, a pin and something to cut your box with. So first step, empty the box and then we're going to lay the white paper inside on the base so that we can have something to reflect the light off of. Um, and then we're going to fold the box in but we're not going to completely close it. We're going to leave a bit of a gap just so we have a bit of space for the light to travel on. So we do have a few sharp things today and we'll be cutting the cardboard box which is a bit hard so just make sure to be careful with all your sharp objects. We're going to cut our viewfinder and our pinhole way by just cutting along the strip. And once we've got our rectangle we're going to sort of tape it all together. So we're using really opaque tape today so that we have no light leakage into the camera obscura as we try and see what the pinhole is actually letting us see. So after we've taped up the rectangle that we cut out, we will just have to cut out a little viewfinder just so we can see through the camera obscura. As we're finishing up the taping, we'll just make sure that we're sealing all the, all the spaces so that we have no light leakage. So before we do anything else, we'll just look into our camera obscura just to make sure that it's completely dark inside. Once it's completely dark, we're gonna create our pinhole camera. Make sure that it's sort of able to let light in. So take it outside, see what you can see. Um, what do you notice about the picture inside? Is it flipped? Can you explain why maybe? Look for bright things. We've got a beautiful day today, so the blue sky is coming through really well. Um, maybe look at some bright buildings, see if you can make them out through the images. So what were you able to see in your camera obscura? Did you manage to see the blue sky as we did? How it's working is the light is going through the pinhole that we created and it's actually flipping and reversing the light. So the light at the top is going down to the bottom of our image and the light from the bottom is going up, which is why it's reversed. So go out, experiment, see what happens if you made the hole a bit bigger or maybe a bit smaller. See what happens if maybe you made the camera obscura a bit wider, what happens to the image. And maybe see if you can relate it to how cameras work. Mm -hmm.